photographer and a writer. And um, yeah, that's what's really dear to my heart, uh, my inner talents. And um, yeah, I was also a marketeer. But um, yeah, what I really want to do is doing photographs. I was a long time a marketeer and it was really stressful. It was also a lot of fun and responsibilities. But um, I really want to be more responsible for myself and not for things or for other persons. Or um, So I decided in 2017 that I want to do my own things. Um, and um, yeah, I decided to go at first uh, on a journey. So I traveled to, uh, to Sweden, um, which was also a wish because I never had been to Sweden before. <laughs> And um, yeah, in the end of 2017, I um, traveled back to Germany and opened my own business. Uh, it is called Freilicht. It's a, a really creative name, a German name. Um, Freilicht uh, means something like you can stand it, uh, you can understand it by your own. Something like Sefölli. Um, but it's also um, frei means free and um, Licht is loose, light. So I'm really in love with the light, um, especially um, when I do photographs. And um, yeah, I love to be free. So it's a, it's a huge name <laughs> with a lot of meanings and a lot of lot behind it. Yeah, so and um, um, in 2018, I decided again to go on a journey, on a travel, and I uh, to travel, and I ended up in Denmark, and um, I found the man of my life, also a German guy. Um, funny thing that I found him here in Denmark, and yes, since I was a free person, I decided to stay here. <laughs> so here I am. And now I want to establish my ideas and my projects, which I started in Germany. And uh, one of my biggest projects is to have my pictures in hospitals, um, care centers and doctors waiting rooms. Um, because I think you always have yeah, bad emotions or feelings when you have to go to a doctor or to a hospital, even when you are not the person who have to stay there um, or if you have just to spend blood. It's never a good feeling to be there and um, the people over there, they are doing your, their really best to help you. So it's a good thing. Um, so I really want to give some hope and um, motivation, a good feeling with my pictures, um, yeah, especially at these places. And then I have another project for companies. Um, I created um, a, a study um, which I want to use for um, having better or at all results what pictures do with the motivation and the inspiration and with the mood at, um, at work. Um, because I think if you have an environment which is created more like your home, then you will love the way to work or to go to work much more and to spend time there because we are spending a lot of time at work. So that's the, the, <laughs> that's the reason why I have all these pictures here in my home office. Um, of course I feel home but it's also my workplace and I want to yeah, put it together. So, and I think um, if you have some nice pictures, inspiring, motivating pictures at work, then you will have much more happier employees. Nature is inspiring me. Um, it gives me a feeling of being free, being enough who I am now. Um, and that, so the nature 
it's for me and it's for you and it's for all of us and we can share it or we share it um, and I, w I really want to establish this sharing moments and feelings more yeah I, I really love having the connection to the nature and to other people that's that is what's what's inspiring for me yeah connections in any kind of way <laughs> yeah every time I travel to Denmark to go on vacation um, I had the dream of what about if I had the opportunity to stay just stay because I feel so home uh, here and um, it's yeah it's calm and it's a good energy for me and I create new um, good energy. I think it's a good idea to believe in your dreams because if you you don't set pressure on these dreams and just it's just an open dream, then I experienced that it will come true. And um, yeah, in the end, I decided um, not out of the blue, but I had feelings. And I listened to my feelings and I decided for my feelings, not for my thoughts, for my feelings. And in the end, I met a man which, uh, who asked me, what about staying here with me? And I, was, I don't have a home at Germany or anywhere else. So I just had the opportunity to say yes. And it's, right now, I'm, I'm just realizing Oh, wow, I have Danish number plates, I, I'm registered here in Denmark and I'm living in Denmark. Wow, it's, it's the dream which came true. So, yeah. But um, in 2017, um, after my, my journey through Sweden, I decided to um, come up with my own business. So, uh, Freilicht exists since 2017. And, um, yeah. So now I want to establish Freilicht and um, my projects and ideas here in Denmark. Funny fact is I come, I come from Lüneburg and a lot of Danish people uh, know the Lüneburger Heide. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, it's beautiful over there. <laughs> and um, it's like I have moved from the German Lüneburg to the Danish Lüneburg, but it's called Odense because you have a river floating through the city in Lüneburg, it's the Ilmenau, now here you have the O. Um, it's also, you have this old city with the streets out of stones and these houses near by each other. And it's, it was, I was, that looks like Lüneburg, but I'm in Odense and it's, it felt like, it felt like home. And I think if you just, follow your way and your dreams then you will end up where you feel home and I feel home. 